3D boxing here now with Big Brother, yeah. Otto Alejandro. Uh, I talked to your younger brother on how a little earlier he got the decision victory. You got the knockout victory. Congratulations. Uh, tell us about your performance. Uh, I mean, we came in there knowing he was going to be a tough competitor. And, you know, we trained really hard for this fight. And we uh, trained as if we were going for eight rounds and the knockout yeah. came. And, you know, we... You had a good performance on that today. Now, you're 11 0 now, yeah. 10 knockouts. Right. It's good to get rid of and score the knockouts, but I was talking to your brother. Do you, I mean, do you want to go six rounds, eight rounds? I mean, do you want someone who can stand up to you, or are you happy with stopping everyone early? I mean, I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't look for a knockout, but they, they come, so I mean, why not? You know, the opportunity is there. I mean, we don't get paid for overtime, you know, to get the knockout. Yeah, I, I can yeah. tell you. Um, I was sitting in the second or third row of the media section, and I, I could hear your shots landing like a shotgun going off. You know, the, the power is real. Um, you're going to get a lot of knockouts uh, with, with that kind of power. Um, I, I talked to your, your younger brother about this, too. What's it like for the two of you to be going through this and, and, and going up through the ranks together? I mean, it's, it's a nice feeling, me and my little brother in the same car, because, you know, that's pretty rare, you know. It's, and then me and him in the same car, it's like more motivation, you know, like... His performance, and I'm like, oh, you know, I gotta show out, you know, do better than him. But yeah, it's a friendly competition, but yeah, it's a nice feeling. Is there any sibling rivalry, or do you guys just push each other and motivate each other? Uh, we push each other and motivate each other. We spar a lot together, so that's it. Uh, this is the third fight of you as I covered. I covered you when you fought the day before the Errol Spence fight in Irving. Um, then I covered you, yeah, in March. Um, and then I covered uh, when you fought in Mississippi, and, and now here. Uh, in the valley, right. each time you fall on the card with your brother, is that something you guys want to continue to do? Uh, I mean, hopefully, I mean, it stays that way because that's a nice competition, and you know, it's just it's just cool having him on, on my side. Now you're 11 and 0 as a uh, as a lightweight. Is 135 the weight we're going to see you in the future? Uh, for this one, it was 130, but I'm gonna stay at 130. You're gonna stay at 130. Yeah, 130. Um, I love it on that, like I said. What can we expect? When can we expect to see you back in the ring? And when do you want to fight higher level fighters? Uh, we've been looking at higher level, higher level fighters, and this is my first eight rounder. And you know, hopefully, we finish out the year with one or two more fights, eight rounds, and then we look for a ten rounder fight after that, starting early next year. What grade would you give your performance? Uh, B plus. <laughs> Paul was tough. He was, he was a good fighter. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was in the like, walking apart. But, yeah, I mean, that'd be good. I enjoy it. All right, congratulations, champ. Arnold Alejandro Arnold. from Dallas, Texas. Tell everyone where they can find you on social media. You can find me on Instagram, on Arnold Alejandro Jr. And Facebook, Arnold Alejandro. And Twitter, Team Alejandro 96. God bless, champ. Thank you.